Hey guys, Mixel here. Today we're going to check out the 1070 Ti and how it's performed in mining in 2021. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is how I mine with my gaming setup in 2021. I'm using NiceHash. This is not a sponsor video, just going to show you how I am mining with my setup. If you want to try try mining now, then you are downloading, downloading this setup here or this program. But first I'm going to show you the profit profitability calculator. It's a hard uh, um, first up here, I'm going to type in 1070 Ti Calculate So you can see here, you earn about 3.61 dollar per day In one month you get about 96, 95 So it's perfect uh, I bought my 1070 Ti in 2019 for about $200, I think. So I earned this back in three months now. So it's great. I probably going to upgrade my setup in 2021. So it's nice to earn some extra money. Um, yeah, so you can just uh, type in your graphics card here or your setup. And of course, the L electrics electric cost uh, but the, it depends on which country you're living in yeah uh, next up I'm going to show you is just uh, if you go uh, on the main page here uh, go down to the latest news best mining in GPUs in 2021 you can see here the reason why the RTX uh, 390 and the RTX 380 is uh, sold out everywhere is because the hash rate. If you see here, the RTX 380 is 98 and the 390 is uh, 120. We're going to check out that later because it's insane. Um, yeah. But. Uh, if you go now to, sorry, not my uh, Epic Game Store account, but uh, MSC Afterburner, I'm using that because you must overclock your GPU to get the most out of the graphics card before you mine. Uh, I have uh, make my own profile here. Um, uh, MSC Afterburner is free to download, so yeah, use that if you want. I set the power limit to 60%, and the reason that is because you don't want to use more power than you need when you are mining, because power is not cheap. Uh, I set the core clock to zero, and I set the memory clock to 550. Uh, if you have a 1070 Ti from Asus, you probably can get it higher because um, of the memory. Uh, in this uh, graphics card I'm using, it's Hynix memory, so it's not so great to overclock. Yeah, but uh, maybe in Asus uh, you have a Samsung memory, that's much better to overclock. It. Um, when you have uh, downloaded the uh, NiceHash uh, program, you uh, must first benchmark uh, your graphics card. Just benchmarking uh, different types of uh, algorithms, I think, against the uh, graphics card. And you can also enable the CPU as well, but uh, it's not so good to mine with your CPU so yeah use more power um, yeah so when you are done with all that you just hit uh, starting mining and it's popping up a program window here 
and then you just relax uh, and I'm going going <coughs> going back in about five minutes so we can see how it's performed and the temperature on the nice uh, not on nice such but on um, MSC afterburner yes now the mining has uh, gone for about five minutes now we can see that the temperature here is about 59 degrees I have a close uh, case and the air temperature is about 21 22 degrees so there's a nice heater in uh, Norway right now it's about minus 10 degrees outside so it's nice to have a heater actually uh, you can see here uh, we have about uh, 26 mega hash if you remember the 3080 has 100 so you can understand why uh, there's no GPUs around in the stores and I use about 108 to 109 uh, on the GPU uh, the total system power I don't know so much about because I don't have a cannot measure the power from the wall but so I think you are with this setup I think you are using more power when you are gaming when and when you are mining now with this system and you can see here I earn about 3.6 uh, no, 3.26 dollar each day so it's great actually and I only mine with the GPU not the CPU um, if you are mining with your uh, gaming machine uh, put a comment down below and uh, hit the smash <laughs> hit the like button if you want or smash it uh, and yeah I see you in the next one